If you had to guess, what percentage of episodes do you reckon you've recorded wearing a singlet? I'd say probably between 80 and 90%. I tend to agree. Yeah. That um, begs the question. Yep. Uh, for those not watching on YouTube, mm-hmm. why are you wearing a, uh, a puffer jacket? It's an excellent question. So, especially as we're sort of uh, just about to enter summer. Yeah. 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 The timing seems odd. It does. It does. I will explain all. Uh, shout out to big fan of the show, Amma. <laughs> I've heard she watches 6 a.m. every Thursday. See, this is the thing. We used to make jokes about Amma um, watching and listening to our pod at 6 a.m. every Thursday because she never did. But- <laughs> I'd say the last, like, since the 100th, I'm a, <laughs> since the 100th, she's watched, like, every episode from start to finish, approximately at 6 a.m. on every on a, on a Thursday. She wakes up and that's what she does. And um, this is a, an early early birthday present from mum. She, she um, obviously lives up in Sydney, but got me a puffer jacket because um, she's been telling me to get a new one for about eight or nine years. So. Yep. Can confirm. Yes. Can confirm. <laughs> so, um, shout out to Amma. Shout out. So, we, we manifested her listening every um, every every Thursday morning. Pretty we, much. We made that happen. Yeah, we, it started off as a joke, but now I'm as a, I'm as a hardcore fan. Okay, so we can manifest getting Kathmandu to sponsor us then, can we? Is that on the cards as well? <laughs> Give it another 100 episodes. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Haven't started the episode like that before. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Fine Legged Full Forward. Now you can say we have started the episode that way. Hello. Hello. Um, for those wondering, uh, on w- wanting a puffer jacket update, uh, it is off. He yep. could commit to the bit for only about two minutes. I committed to the bit. And but you did, yeah. Yeah. Once yeah. the bit's done, then yeah. Uh, hello. <laughs> What what part of England is that from? I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know why that popped into my head. Yeah. So I was like, cool. We're, we're about to start now. Yeah. I'm going to say some words. The single thought that would have entered your mind was, we've never done something like this before. What if I? What mm. if I did it? What if yeah. I tried it? And no. now you've done it. You're spot on. There you go. We're we're kicking goals. We're saying that <laughs> early this week. How are you, my friend? I am doing okay, mate. What's going on? What's new? What's been happening? Um, what's been happening? Um, I, uh, it's my birthday tomorrow. Tomorrow. As we record this. Um, for Amma listening, it was yesterday. For, um, yes, yes, yeah. it was yesterday. Um, <laughs> yep. joining, joining the 28 Club. I am. I am joining you the 28 w- Club. One more day to make it out of the Out of the 27 Club. club. Correct, correct. So, um. Are you leaving the house? Um, probably not. That's a good call. Pro- probably good call. not. Please, um, please don't. I shouldn't have said. I shouldn't have made a joke about twenty-seven don't, clubs. Please don't leave the house now. <laughs> you would not let that go for the rest of your life. Probably. Oh God. Well, no, I can't. I'm not going to say that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's obviously it's tomorrow. Um, last weekend was pretty pretty good. Went to um, went to a gig. You did go to a gig. You did go to a gig. Who did you mm-hmm. see? I saw. Horror show. Yeah, it's um, one of your all-time favourites. One of the yes, listeners may know. as they as as the listeners may know. Um, and this was a very special gig. It wasn't just any gig. Um, I've seen them a bunch of times now, but um, this was the ten-year anniversary of um, their album King Amongst Many, which they dropped in 2013. Um, yep. Yep. Do the math. Yep. Yeah. The math is mathing. Um, and that is probably one of my favorite albums of all time. So for me, like I went to one of their 10 year album things in 2018 for their Mm. first album, the gray space. And even when I was there, I was like, I really hope they do a, a 10 year thing for King amongst many. And, uh, yeah. Another thing you manifested. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was brilliant, mate. 
it was um, Good stuff. everything that I dreamt that it would be. Good stuff. So Good stuff. Um, yeah, it was it was it was good. Haven't been to a gig in a while, I think. Mm. Um, but um, yeah, just it, that they they actually had um, I forget the name of the girl that was on the drums. So there was so Horisha used to be solo and at it like a rapper and a producer. Yep, and then at it sort of taken a step back. Now it's mainly just solo. But he had this. Um, a drummer, she was, yeah, she, she was on the drums and then she'd alternate between the drums, keyboard and guitar throughout the show. And she'd just be like, mid, mid song, she'd like do a bit of a drum, like drums and then like, and then the backing track would continue the drums and then she'd walk over and play guitar and then oh, right. triple impressive. threat. Triple threat, yeah. Triple threat. That's the, that's the dream, I think, for a, for a music. That's what Cammy says anyway. Cammy, Cammy wants to be a triple threat. Triple threat. Yeah. And I can't play any of them, so... It's all right. You'll get there, maybe, yeah. one day. Yeah, because Cammy plays... She don't know she plays piano. She plays guitar. Yep. Is there anything else? Um, I think she used to play drums. I'm not sure what, what her right. drumming ability is at okay. the moment. But, yeah. Anyway, how was your weekend, mate? It was good. Um, yeah. Saw the fam for a bit, which is nice. Um, yeah. And then had a, had a wedding. Nice. Which was, yeah, beautiful. The first um, wedding out of that group of friends. Yep. Many more to come, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, one in like a few weeks, yeah, <laughs> the yeah. same group. So, yep. yeah, that no, was really good. The venue was beautiful. Um, yeah, it was just a really good day. It's a really good day. That was the most interesting thing that happened to me this weekend. Fair enough. We also had the um, we had the, the AFL draft happened. I know we've got a couple of things we want to talk about here, but I will just oh, touch yep. on the draft just happened. Yep, yep. And the worst kept secret um, of all, mm-hmm. Harley Reid. It's gone to, to West Coast. Yeah, number one pick. Yep. See, footy and cricket podcast. Yes, yes. Yep. You happy with, with North selections? Yeah, yeah. Pick were two you, and four. Were you aware of them before we started recording? Or nah. were you looking at them now for the first time? Uh, second time. Um, yep. First time just before recording. Yeah, nice. nice, um, nice. I did did uh, did a bit of research in the five seconds that I had. How'd you go? Yep. Um, Comments. I, uh, <laughs> my thoughts are, um, so pick two, Colby McKercher. Yep. Um, Are you sure that's how it's pronounced? No. Nah. Okay, cool. Not at all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is a Tassie boy. Is he? So, so um, North Melbourne. Yeah. So, we, we've picked up a Tassie boy. So, um, look, all I'm saying is in 2027, I hope he doesn't get homesick. <laughs> but um, still a way to go. But we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> that's my take on on what's happened so far. That's the only comment on the draft. Yeah. Yep. Nice. nice. And also, Z- Zane Dersma. We've got Zane Dersma. And I... I asked you, is he somehow related to Xavier Dersma? And you were like, no, of course not. There's so many Dersmas out there. What are you talking about? Yeah. I mean, the delivery was a little better when I told it. Yeah. yeah you, you get the point. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure we'll touch on that before the um, before the season starts. Yes. In, in some way. Just we've always got a finger on the pulse on this show. So, yes. thought we'd it'd be remiss of us to not bring it up. Absolutely. Before we do get into Run It Back... Quick shout out to uh, a good mate of ours, Sauce Smith. Sauce Smith. Source, yeah. Aaron Sauce Smith um, has been doing his own podcast for probably a few weeks now. Probably like 10 episodes, I think. Like now. 10 episodes yeah. in um, with a few of his mates called Who Wins? And um, lots of hypotheticals, lots of fun stuff, mm. kind of, you know, lots of, lots of like, I, I get vibes of. Well, you know, when we initially did with the boat episode, the bracket sort of stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I think a few weeks ago they did one where it was like a bracket and um, it was like NBA mascots facing off against each other. Um, fun stuff like that. So, if you're, if you're into this hypothetical fun sort of stuff, then check out who wins. Chances are you are because you're listening to this. Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a bit of us just without a, even less footy and cricket than potentially. Than yeah, 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 yeah. So running it back through a uh, a big week. If you uh, like the, uh, you're ready to go. Yep, you hit, you hit record, so I panicked and just put my hands together. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That's right. Just stick. You want to stick with it for a bit longer. Yeah. Yep. Just yeah, with, a, with the with the face too. Is it, a, is it a smoldering sort of look at it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a real or or a, a post, I think. You reckon? Yeah. All right, mad. 
carry on. Anyway, <laughs> uh, running it back through a special week, the World Cup, Cricket World Cup. Men's had, Cricket World Cup. The men, the ODI Men's Cricket World Cup has wrapped up. Disgusting. And, uh, and Australia have come from, I won't say absolutely nowhere, but come from two respectable losses to winning the tournament. Yeah, you say come from nowhere. I know you just said you won't say come from nowhere, but yeah. you did say it twice by saying it, you're not saying it as well. <laughs> Those two losses were a long time ago. They haven't lost since then. Since then. Yeah. Literally since then. Yeah, so it's their sixth title. Out of- um, 13 ODI Men's World Cups. That's that's pretty nuts. Yep. Yes, it is. I am hungry. I don't know if you heard that. I thought you, that's your, your, your stomach just agreeing. Yeah, just yes. Just chipping in. Yes. That is insane. It is Six insane. from 13. Um, but uh, Travis Head? Yeah, he might be the GOAT. He might be the GOAT. Is there a better cricketer in the history named after a body part? <laughs> Well, I'm not going to be able to think of one within the next no, 20 seconds. No, I can't. I can't think of any. Was there like any a- leg- legs. legs? Legs, legs, legs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I hope I hope Elmo listens to that. that. Oh, that's outstanding. That was good. That well done. Well, very well done. Thanks, mate. Thanks, yeah. Pels. If you know, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What a knock, though. What a knock. Because it's such a shame he didn't hit the winning runs. Yeah. Um. But I mean. They weren't winning that without that knock. Absolutely. Not at all. Yeah. Um, India probably, what, 40, 50-odd runs short? Yeah. Yeah, I think for the first time, I'm um, not sure for the first time, but the the big thing was just the, the score that they put on the board wasn't up to the standard of the previous games, I think. like mm. um, Obviously, their bowling's been pretty good, but- um, I think quite often they've put up big totals with the bat and, um, yeah, they made, what, 240-odd, which is yeah, well yeah, below some of the scores yeah. they've they've um, been making. And as soon as they did that, I think Australia definitely would have felt like there was a sniff, there's yeah. a chance, like, of an upset. Yeah, I think if it was, if it was yeah, 280, 290-odd, yeah, yeah the, you're going there with a different sort of... Mentality, yeah, in, completely in, different. In that sort of chase, completely different to the, um, I think the the semi against New Zealand, where what India goes out and makes four hundred odd, mm. and then you know New Zealand make three twenty or something mm. in a, in a chase, but it's like you go out there and you put that many runs on the board, but in a low scoring affair, it's um, things can happen, things can change. It ended up being the only game they lost. Yeah, so all tournament, ten games in a row. Yep, ten wins in a row, and then uh, and then one loss. And the, yeah, and then not. Yeah, um, I, I did see a comment that made me laugh. It said, um, <laughs> "Even England were able to successfully rig their home World Cup." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do we want to yes. dive into that at all? No, you don't want to comment on on that? Oh, uh, um, like the the rigging part of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel I feel like there's always an aspect of it. Um, I did hear things about like. Selecting pitches and like, oh, changing pitches late, like mm. in the lead up to games. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's legal and not legal in that sort of stuff. I'm. I'm assuming the home team will always have a bit of an advantage when it comes to that sort of stuff. The ground staff, yeah, all yeah. of it. Um, but yeah, the I question don't... you've got to ask yourself, yep. is. What does the I stand for? In ICC. In ICC. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It stands it stands for incredibly large sums of money. You might not be able to spell. <laughs> <laughs> but no, full credit to Australia. I mean, what a 2023 they're having, right? I yeah. mean, the World Test Champions retain the ashes. Yep. And now ODI World Cup. Yeah. Another thing, I know I've, I've complained about England a lot this year, and I'm going to just sneak one more in there because mm. another comment's come up and it's just like, why the fuck are you saying that? Yeah. It was a comment about England not doing so well in the World Cup because they're fatigued from the ashes. Really? You remind me who plays in the ashes? 
Is it Australia? <laughs> I believe I believe two sides. Yeah, playing. But Australia's one of them, right? I, I do. I do believe. Did so, they yes. not just win the World Cup? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I interesting. Think so. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I just thought I'd get one more in there because I've gotten so good at ranting about England this year. Maybe. Maybe before uh, before we do go on, shout out to Virat Kohli. I think uh, as much as we will give India shit for winning ten in a row and losing when it counts, I feel like I need to give props to him. I'm pretty sure he's broken a record for the most runs in a World Cup. Yes, and he did pass. Did we mention he passed Sachin's um, ODIs? I think we did as well. last week. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, most runs ever in a World Cup. Yeah. All right, fair play. I think I think so. So. I mean, you said it with chest. Yeah. <laughs> I know India had they had, like, they had six of the um, team of the tournament. Oh, six out of eleven. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But Australia won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and in honour of Australia um, winning the World Cup, yep. and given that it is one of the busiest times of the year from a from a retail perspective, it is. We're gonna we're gonna come back home uh-huh. for uh, for today's episode, and yep. we're gonna help some stores create some cricket themed taglines. Yep. For Black Friday, which is this Friday, right? Which is this Friday. Yeah, yep. yeah. So the day after this comes out, but what has come to happen is Black Friday used to be. The last Friday of November. Right. But Black, Black Friday has now become just the whole of November. Like, <laughs> retailers just starting their sales earlier and earlier. Yeah. And, yeah, it's just it kicks in when November starts, so it's, it's getting crazy. Um, just with these taglines that we've created, though, uh, they won't necessarily be as salesy as some of the messaging you might be used to around Black Friday. Yep. But that's okay, because this is all about um, making sure- that these retailers make the most of, of, of this occasion. I really want to capitalise on on what's happened. Yeah, I feel like some ads are kind of like at, at the at the time, especially if it's like sponsoring something or if it's like um, like Australian Open ads or things like that. You might not even have much about your own product, or mm. it's just about getting everyone up and about it's building the awareness. Yeah, yeah, building the awareness. All right, so we we've picked these stores from a nine news article. Um, titled Australia's Top 20 Online Retailers okay. Revealed. Okay. I'm yep. sure you can like figure out what that goes through, that article. Yep. Yep. Uh, so we just uh, we've uh, we've cherry picked a couple of these a couple of these retailers and we're going to come up with some taglines around Black Friday and yep. see if my marketing de- degree was worth it. Mm. Yep. Did you want to kick off with the first one, Matt? Sure. Or do you want me to? Um I don't mind. I c- I can. All right. All right, yeah. I will. Okay. I will kick us off with uh, BCF. Yep. B- is that how they say it? BCF. Is that is that yeah. The, the yeah yeah boating, camping, fishing, um, BCFing fun. BC BCFing fun, of course. Um, and I guess a tagline that that they could uh, could use to, you know, be a bit more cricketing now yep. that the uh, Australian cricket team. Australian men's cricket team has won the World Cup, um, would be uh, boating, camping, and fishing outside for a great deal. Oh, outside off, That sorry. was supposed to say fishing outside off yep. for a great deal to make it cricket related. Yes. Do you want to start that one again? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me start that one again. Just going to re- rewind on that. Yeah. Boating, camping, and fishing outside off for a great deal. Because you, do you want to explain that too? Do you want to explain why that's funny? So you're fishing outside <laughs> off. You're getting the batsman like fending at the ball outside yeah. the off stump. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And that would have actually been the reason this would have been really good if you'd got it right the first time <laughs> is because I feel like you're really you're really talking to the right audience with BCF. I feel like there's a lot of boating, camping, fishing enthusiasts that are also very into cricket. Into cricket. Yeah, so that they they'd capitalize on that. They'd make the most of that. Yeah. Sorry, I fucked that up. Mate. That's all right. That's yeah. all right. Is there anything more you want to say on BCF? No, Any, no, nothing more. You want to just forget this ever happened? Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Yep. I will. Um, I will move on to another retailer that was ranked one of the top um, in Australia. Yeah, um, IKEA. Uh huh. Now, just to clarify, this isn't top Australian retailers. Yeah, it's top retailers in Australia. Uh huh. Yeah, IKEA is Swedish. You yes, know. I have. I have heard. Yes. So, IKEA, we all know what they're about. Yep. Flat packs and things. Mm-hmm. 
to make this more cricketing. Yep. To capitalise on Black Friday and Australia winning the World Cup. Yep. No better time to hold up an end while your other half puts the rest of the furniture together. That's brilliant. It's beautiful. Do, do I need to explain to you why that? No, works? no, 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 yeah. no. I, no, no. I, th- I mean, Can actually, I anyway? actually, yes. Please do yeah. anyway. Uh, this, this, I feel like this is our <laughs> version of Gruen. Where oh god, you break down like the marketing side and like explain uh, no, why I, it I, works. I wasn't going to go that far. Um, so hold up an end. Yeah, right. That's important in cricket. Uh-huh. Right, you're batting yeah. in partnerships. Of course. This is off, often there's an aggressor mm-hmm. and someone who is a lot more level-headed. Right. Yes. So cricket. Yeah. Right. Yep. Holding up an end. Cool. Yep. yep. No better time. Not only are we creating awareness, but we're also creating urgency. Ah. Get in now. Get in now. Right. Yep. Yep. And then puts the rest of the furniture together. Mm-hmm. They sell furniture. It comes in a flat pack. They do. Yep. Yep. Yeah. While well, your other half. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. that's it. That's brilliant. Yep. yep. I like it, mate. I like it. <laughs> All right. Here's another one. Catch.com.au. Uh, I don't think they need to do anything. Yeah, I mean, catch. It's catch. Yeah. It's already there. Catch it. It's um. Yeah. Just, just they could repeat it if they wanted to, but catch, just, catch. To just, just to emphasize <laughs> that they are talking <laughs> about cricket. But um, compared to any of the other the other yeah. retailers, I think you just that- make catch.com.au, but make the dots cricket balls. Yeah. Like in our YouTube banner. Yep. The, the flit of- the dots of cricket balls. Yeah. Look at this, mate. You're helping. You're genuinely helping people out. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if anyone's listening and they work at Catch. Yeah. Um, speaking of work. Yep. Uh, the next one, the next retailer is Officeworks. Uh-huh. Um, now, this one here, I, I'm suggesting no one in your office works when the cricket's on. <laughs> nice. Nice. Clever because it's a play on words. It right? is a play you guys, on words. You guys, you, you picking that up? That's not too subtle for you. No, you, no, you no, no. That? that's yep. good. It's good. Cool. It's good. Yeah. yeah, but you could you could explain it as well if you wanted to. No, 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 no. no? I, what I want I want you to try and explain it. <laughs> Tell me what you think I mean by that. <laughs> so, so what you've done there is, so Office Works ah. is this, is the name of the retailer, but you've cleverly broken up the word Office Works into. Ah. Office and works. Yeah. Mentioning the cricket being on, you kind of want to start you... building association between the cricket being on and office. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You get it. You get it. Yeah. Yeah. You get it. It's good. It's not the best. It's all right. No, it's good. <laughs> Solid. Uh, another one Coles. Coles. Yep. Um, I think Coles used to have, and, and I think it was quite a, quite a few years ago, they used to be down, down, the prices are down. Yep. For a long time. And I think. I forget when it was, but they changed at some point in time to uh, talk more about value. Yeah. Um, so this this tag could just I think it's value the Australian way. That, that's the yeah. That's yeah. the current slogan. So yeah. they could just easily tweak it now that you know the Australian men's cricket team world champions just value comma the Australian cricket team's way. It's good. It's good. Mm. I like it because that, that one's like actually realistic. You reckon? Like, we're not all jokes here. Like, sometimes we're actually going to provide some help. Yeah. Some insight. All right. Yeah. No, I like it. I like it. It's just a shame that you can't feed a family of four for $10 anymore. <laughs> uh, the next one, uh, Big W. Yep. Which is what the Aussies achieved in India. Yep. Big dub. That's, that's just leave it as that. Oh, what, just, just what, that. What the Aussies achieved in India. Yeah. Big W. Uh, and big then... W. Do they have a jingle? They, they, do, like they, do <laughs> they do now. That's the whole point. That's why we're here, mate. That's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, helping them out. <laughs> okay. Um, Bunnings Warehouse. All right. So, obviously, we know lowest prices are just the beginning. We do. We do. We do know that. Um, so, they could, uh, after the- Cricket World Cup final. Lowest total in the final is just the ending. Ah, so like roasting India. Yeah, a bit of a roast. Mm. Bit of a roast. Um, I like it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how a roast works in the marketing world, but um, 
Maybe you might know, have a bit more insight. Yeah, I mean, it's usually, it's usually like at, at competitors. Yeah. Yep. 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 So I think, yeah, just randomly going after the Indian cricket team as yeah. Bunnings might be a little unorthodox, mm. but not not to say it doesn't work. Yep. Yep. With that in mind, I'll move on to the last uh, retailer we've got here, Chemist yep. Warehouse. Yep. Mm, big day for the warehouse, is that? Mm. Um, as we know, Chemist Warehouse jingle goes, Why pay more? Right? Yes, it does. Very well done there. Thanks, mate. So, what not I'm suggesting- Not sponsored. We're not, not sponsored, no. unless, unless the <laughs> Katmandu thing falls through. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty, pretty certain about that, but just in case it does. <laughs> Chemist Warehouse, why play more ah. games than most other countries if you were just going to lose the final at home after being <laughs> undefeated the whole tournament? It's a little wordy. Yep. But I think it's probably a little bit stronger than the, the Bunnings dig. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't know how the jingle will go down because, you know, I, I feel like the, the why pay more thing is very linked with the tune. Yep. So, I don't know how the why... Play more games if the other country is a bit. It's like you have to kind of go into a bit of a rap. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, but it, it could work. It could work. It could work. Mm. I, I, this might be a, a sort of two way deal with Chemist Warehouse. We get Ashwin doing the, the actual <laughs> rap part for the jingle. <laughs> We're open to it here. We're open to it. We're open to anything. Switch on. For Switch On this week, we are bringing back a bracket mm-hmm. inspired by Source and the Who Wins pod. Yep. Um, what we're going to do is go through the top 20 online retailers in Australia from the that, one, that article that, that article. we referenced previously. Yep. We're going to go through the full list and we've got them in, in, in a bracket. Yep. It's been a hot minute since we've done one of these. Just quickly run through the... The full list in the seeding order. So we've got Kmart number one, then Woolies, Chemist Warehouse, Bunnings, JB Hi Fi, um, where am I? Big W, Maya, Target, yep. Coles, Kogan, then Office Works. Yep, catch.com.au, catch.com.au, Good Guys, Cotton On. Ikea, Harvey Norman, Spotlight, Super Cheap Auto, Mecca, and Boating, Camping, Fishing. By so F. Yes. So, we're just going to go through and figure out which one is the best. And it's going to be our opinion. Yep. And it's going to be first thought, best thought. Okay, just rapid. And we're going to fucking race through it because it's just all going to be on instinct. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Okay. So the first matchup we've got yep. is Harvey Norman and Spotlight. Yep. What do we think? Uh uh Harvey Norman. Nah, fuck Harvey Norman. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Fuck Harvey Norman. <laughs> rip off the merchants. Nah, fuck Harvey rip, Norman. Rip off. I'm gonna overrule you on this one. We're going spotlight. Yep. Spotlight cool. are going through. Fair enough. Oh, <laughs> I like when we have discussions. <laughs> 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 we said rapid fire, sorry. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Yep. Harvey Norman. Yep. What's the next? Uh we've got The Good Guys and BCF. Yep. Um ooh. Good guys. I'm happy with the good guys. Okay. Yeah, good guys. It just seems like someone who'd carry a team, right? A cricket team. Like you you bat eight, you don't bowl. Yeah, yeah. Good guys, right? Yeah, the good guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Right. Um IKEA versus Super Cheap Auto. <sighs> See, I don't really like IKEA. Really? I don't really like going there. Like I just get I just get overwhelmed, I think. Yeah. But I think their meatballs at work. I was gonna say I, the food is so cheap and yeah. good. So i I'm willing to back IKEA in purely I, based on their food. Yeah, I'm fine with that. IKEA goes through. Yep. Uh Cotton On and Mecca. Um I don't know about you, but I've bought more things from Cotton On than I have Mecca over the years. Yeah. Yeah, yep. especially if you include uh, typo as well, because cotton on. Ah, true. Both, right? yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely, uh, definitely cotton on. Yep, absolutely. Uh, the next one we've got is Target and Coles. Okay. I don't. Oof. I don't know. I mean, if you go off the last logic, I, I bought more stuff from Coles than I have from Target. Okay. Do you remember um, the last thing you bought from Target? 
Yeah, not really much actually. Like the last time was probably like I used to go um quite a bit. Oh, I bought a PS5 from Target. You bought a PS5 from Target. I did. Okay, all right. Interesting. Um Target is also the sponsor of the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Target Center. Ooh, are you arguing for or against that? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Timberwolves are like I I I don't know what our win loss win loss record is at the moment, but it it is it is much better than I thought it would be. You're doing better than, than the Bulls, to be honest. So I can't really say too much. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, let's put, th- let's put Target through based on that. Okay. All right. Then we've got JB Hi-Fi and Cash.com.au. Okay. Have you got much from Catch? Uh, a couple of things. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy to go JB. I I love just hanging at JB. If there's- Hanging at JB. Yeah. Yep. Right. Okay. Like, if I need a kill time, I'll just be at JB and- just, just, just walking around. I won't need to get anything, but just walking around because you can walk through albums, you walk through games, you walk through tech stuff. It's All right. Just like, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it makes makes it hard to do that on an online. Oh, that's right. This is online. Retail. Yes. No, I just mean that like, Cash don't have stores do that. Yes. Or do yeah, they? Yeah. Actually, maybe they do. Yeah. Anyway, no, we're going. We're going JB. Yep. Maya and Kogan. Ooh. Just throw my phone. <laughs> Um, hmm. I feel like Kog- haven't Kogan in the past like sort of taken little jabs at at other retailers? I have heard, like, I don't know if it's like recently if they have or not, but I know like quite a few years ago they used to just take shots at um, uh, like JB Hi-Fi and Harvey Norman and stuff mm-hmm. for their own like slogans and stuff like that. Yep. So they they give they give off a bit of a yeah I don't give a fuck bit cheeky like, kind of like that sort of vibe yeah um I don't know I don't I'm, know I'm 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 happy to put them through based on that based on that yeah yeah and I don't really get much from Maya to be honest yeah no nah. I usually walk through because I might park at the like close to the car park mm. and then just. That's the entrance to the, the shopping centre, so I have to walk through to get there. Just going to hold you up just for a sec there. Yep. That's David Jones. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> cool. Let's just- We'll go Kogan. All right. We'll go Kogan. Uh, where's number- Where's match number eight? Big W and Office Works. Um, oof. Oof. Uh, One of our close mates, Danny Boy, from from school and authorised. Yes. He did his 10 years at Big W. Yes. 10-year anniversary the other day and yep. it ended up being his last shift there. Yep. Congrats to Danny Boy for 10 years at Big W. <laughs> um, do we put him through based on that? Sure. Let's do it. All right. Okay. So, next up, we've got Kmart and Spotlight. Okay. Probably Kmart. Cool. Yep. Fine. K- Kmart. Yep. Uh, Bunnings and the good guys. See, I I hate Bunnings. Really? I hate Bunnings. Like the advertising, like the way they do no, it? Or no, no, like no, no. Around? I hate being there. Oh, you I hate, hate being, being there? there. Yeah. Why is that? Is it the smell? Is it the environment? I'm is just, it the people just, that work there? Is it the No, nah, I mean, warehouse? everyone's always super helpful. Yeah. I just- I'm not a very uh, manual labor kind of guy. Yep. So I always feel out of place. Ah. I'm never. Yeah. It's the insecurity. I mean, yeah, if, if that's the narrative you want to start, <laughs> yeah, sure. That's exactly what it is. It's okay. It's me too. Like if I go to Bunnings, I'm the same. So. Yeah. But. Yep. As is with IKEA. Yep. I'm happy to put them through on snags. On snags. Yeah. That That does carry quite a. Quite a lot of weight. Last time I was at Bunnings, I bought an Esky and had You snags. did. I remember the Esky debate. Yeah. So I yep. am- <laughs> The Esky debate. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm happy to put Bunnings through on that. Cool. All right. So, matchup number 11 is Woolworths. Yep. We haven't seen yet. And Ikea. Mmm. What are we thinking? <sighs> I still got overwhelmed at Ikea, but they have meatballs. Yeah. But Wool- Woolworths have many meatballs. They do. They have lots of things. I, I, in terms of like, see, it really depends on how, how we'll look. Uh, the, it should be instinct, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Woolworths. Woolworths? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
Um, what's next? Chemist Warehouse and Cotton On. Cotton On? All right, Cotton On. So, next up, well, we're into the quarterfinals here somehow, and we've got to figure out what the fuck we've actually said. Yeah. Now I'm uh, <laughs> this is we, this we, is a bad thing about instinct, because... Yeah, true, yeah. We haven't given ourselves enough time to think. We said Kmart and Target. Okay. Yep. Or as the, um, as the locals call it, Target. Ah, uh, yes. Because it's a fancier version of Kmart. Yes, yes. I think Just, they both do very similar things, but I think yeah. Kmart is much more successful. Cool. Kmart. Yep. Yeah. So, next up, we've got Bunnings and JB. Two Aussie icons when it comes to retailers. Yeah, and both like with big sort of monopolies on- yeah. On on their yeah, respective yeah. fields, almost. Um, oof. Do, do, do you ever walk around Bunnings just to hang out? No. JB Hi-Fi goes there. <laughs> uh, what's next? Woolies and- Kogan? Kogan. Yep. It's got to be Woolies, hasn't it? Yep. Cool. Uh, uh, Cotton On and Big W. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything, anything I could say. Yeah. I mean, Big W was what the Aussies achieved in India. Yep. But I also really like Cotton On. Let's just back Cotton On in. All right. And no, no reason. They sponsor the cats. They sponsor the cats. There's a reason, mate. I lost a sock. Took? It's all right. No, I'll get it. It's all right. Yeah. Uh, so semi-finals, we've got Kmart versus JB Hi-Fi. Yep. And Woolies versus Cotton On. Getting to the business end. Kmart versus JB. What do we think? How long has this been going for, by the way? Are we just- Just waffling? Rambling? Yeah, we yeah. are a bit. We are. It's all right. Um, I feel like my answer would be JB, JB. But, I, but I think- I think- Overall, everyone would, the majority of people would say came up. We started this by saying it was our opinion. Okay. And we All both right. said JB then. All right. Okay. So, Woolies and Cotton On, right? Yeah. All right. Just just sort of count it down and say what you say what you want. All right. Three, two, one. Woolies. Woolies. Cool. Woolies. <laughs> so, the final yeah. of our favorite Australian... Uh, our favourite online retailer in Australia yep. has come down to JB Hi-Fi yep. and Woolworths. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So- um, that That's not how I saw today going. <laughs> does, the, does the final have a bit more justification or is it just as instinctive and I, meaningless? I think it's, just, I think it's just, just as instinctive in the sense of let's just get this over with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I'm, I'm happy, more than happy. You want to go JB Hi-Fi now or later? Uh, <laughs> happy, to, happy to go now and hang around for about an hour or so while I kill time. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations to JB Hi-Fi for taking out the Flitter f- favourite retailer. Award, if the uh, Katmandu sponsorship falls through and the Chemist Warehouse Chemist one. Warehouse sponsorship falls through, yeah, please get in touch with our people, and they'll get back in touch with your people. So your last episode recording as a twenty-seven-year-old, yep, um, not the best, but that's all right. It's okay, we, no. um We just keep getting through them. That's it. Like you know, some weeks are some weeks are good, some weeks are. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. <laughs> yes. Um, um, but yeah. We made it. And we had, look, I, look we, we might have helped out some retailers along the way. Yep. And, and upon got- reflection, why are we helping out the big boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they should be helping us by sponsoring the show. Yeah. Yeah. Also, for those individuals listening still, first of all, congratulations on making it this far. Secondly, as we've mentioned, Black Friday is. Well, tomorrow. Yep. And it's a bit annoying when someone's birthday is right before Black Friday. Right. And, um, you know, you can't really make the most of the deals beforehand. Mm. But the retailers have listened to those concerns and made Black Friday the whole of November. 
Yes, they have. So, there's no excuse. Everyone in the comments, please go out and buy Ashwin a present. Wow, that's- birthday, um, Because you can on Black Friday. Geez, that's- um, Okay. Your gift from Tash and I is on the way. Thanks, mate. Not, not in time for your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> can we blame Oz Post? Sure. All right. Ah, Oz Post. <laughs> Job done. Yeah, I mean, that sounds, sounds yeah. like a blend. Yeah. Uh, until I'm 28. <laughs> Keep hitting sixes. <laughs>